Sri Lanka, a country you don't really hear much from an electrification standpoint, but uh, there's a company um, that has been uh, building a concept supercar electric, all electric vehicle for some time, and they're going to be making more of a splash this year, specifically at the Geneva Motor Show. But uh, it's their first super EV, and it's called the Vega EVX. And uh, no, not this Vega, this Vega. Um, and I've had one of those Vegas before <laughs> back in the 70s, and it wasn't a pleasant experience. This, I'm sure, is going to be much different. Um, you know, it's interesting. They've got this car. They're, they're building it as a supercar, 540 volt, 40 kilowatt hour uh, pack, they're saying, is good enough for about 250 kilometers, 155 mile range. That that seems to jive. Fast charging in Chatamo and CCS so with 120 kilowatts. Um, just kind of scrolling to some of the specs now they want to get this thing under three seconds for a zero to 100 kilometer time or zero to 62 mile per hour time uh, they got a couple of 300 kilowatt motors that they're outfitting this thing with uh, which gives a combined torque of 804 uh, sorry combined horsepower of 804 horsepower and torque of about 560 newton meters and it could even be more than that depending on how they tweak it now this thing's not going to be cheap they're t advertising about two hundred fifty thousand united states dollars or usd so this is going to be for the the half of the one percenters out there basically uh but you know i think what we can take from this is that we have a country that we would not have thought is in is in the involvement of electrification and even you know building their own vehicles and, and learning that whole process and understanding what goes into that this company has never produced an electric vehicle before um and in fact out in the country they've never done that they're known more for as a farming type of community and agricultural con uh, country so um you know it's, it's good to see that they're branching out looking at different elements and uh, these guys are playing around with some of the battery chemistries and stuff so we'll see what happens but congratulations on this company and uh